this video, we'll be focusing on CTLA-4 and its inhibitory function. The main players involved are T-cell receptor, CD8086, peptide MHC, CD28, and of course, CTLA-4. CTLA-4 is an inhibitory receptor and a homologue of CD28. It is also expressed on thymic T regulatory cells. To begin with, let's look at how a T-cell is activated. Two signals are required. Peptide MHC and CD8086 is on the antigen-presenting cell has to bind with the TCR and CD28 on the T-cell respectively. This leads to T-cell activation. Now on to CTLA-4 negative signaling. First, let's look at the intrinsic pathways. Basic inhibition. This occurs when both CD28 and CTLA-4 binds with the ligand CD8086, resulting in an inhibitory signal. Next up, ligand competition. CTLA-4 outcompetes CD28 to bind CD8086, resulting in no CD28 co-stimulation. Now let's look at the extrinsic pathways. Induction of indolamine 2 3 deoxygenase through CTLA-4 ligands. CTLA-4 binds with CD8086, inducing IDO production in the APC. This presents activation of naive T-cells via tryptophan starvation. Induction of inhibitory cytokines through CTLA-4. CTLA-4 binds to CD8086, which stimulates the T-cell to produce TGF-beta. The TGF-beta binds to the receptors on the APCs and T-cells leading to inhibition. CTLA-4 restricts ligand availability. Soluble CTLA-4 reduces the availability of CD8086 to CD28. With no ligand means there's no CD28 co-stimulation. CTLA-4 captures ligands from APCs. CTLA-4 binds the CD8086 ligand and breaks it off the APC. The complex then gets consumed by the T-cell leaving no CD8086 for CD28 to bind to. So how does this all relate to cancer? Epilimumab is a treatment that blocks CTLA-4 using inhibitory antibodies. This allows CD28 to bind CD8086 which stimulates T-cells to destroy tumour cells. To summarise, CTLA-4 is an inhibitory receptor that functions through two intrinsic pathways and four extrinsic pathways. Blocking CTLA-4 is a target for cancer treatment and therefore CTLA-4 is the unwanted player of cancer.